how is our band uh, like na uh, uh, na in concert pagkagabi for entrance uh, wala yung registration pero ang anong entrance is it's either a t-shirt or a cap sa Jesus Reigns ang t-shirt is kung takot si uh, Reina si Reina sa t-shirt kung gusto ka mabali itong t-shirt it's 100 lang that's a t-shirt already with the print Jesus Reigns or kung medyo 50% na yung budget ka <laughs> still avails yung na makasod ng yato masanay kalo or t-shirt uh, pwede kalo or t-shirt pero pwede rin kalo pwede rin sa t-shirt mura mag sa basketball na full uniform uh, up and down ano, uh, kalo or midjas <laughs> it's, uh, it's either a cap or a shirt and just like also to announce no, we are on our day 13 day 13 sa itong 52 days it's our conquest for 2020 12 is our inward conquest. I believe that Hanu Kinapot and Kino. Um, if you want to avail yourself for prayer, kada buntag, alas shifty, padung alas utso, padung alas nuibi, sa utto, alas dusi, padung ala una, and sa gabi, alas shifty, padung alas shifty, padung alas utso, just contact si Miss Nice na nasa ni. This morning, are you ready to change? Yes. Because we are here to change, not just to learn. So let's pray. You know, salamat sa imong pulong, imong pulong kanunay prisko, kanunay nagausab, nagabago sa mga usa ka namo. Lord, tudlo imi karong kabuntagon nga mahimo mga conqueror para sa imong ginaria. Change our mindset, O oh God. I pray that you will anoint every eyes, every ears, that we can see the vision, we can hear the call sa mga usa ka namo ginoo. Gamita mi sa kinatibukan, O oh Lord. We want to give you everything. We want to serve you wholeheartedly. Lord, umabot ka sa among mga bahay. Umabot ka ang imong kinhariyan sa mga ginoong mga negosyo sa mga eskwela. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you. Even this morning in our meeting, would you anoint this service for your honor and for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, um, as disciples, I mentioned last week that it is in our DNA to conquer. To conquer. Hindi mo tapad, you are a conqueror. We always say to one another, amen, para na interaction. We are a conqueror. You are a conqueror. And our job, job description is to conquer. Last week, nag-history ta, mahito mo sa life ni Caleb. Nakita na to that uh, a conqueror, no, he, how he was a conqueror because he understood the importance of, number one, passion for God. He also understood the power of faith. And so he knew what the promises of the Lord were and he, uh, he, he put a faith demand on the Lord. Lord, this is A conqueror knows the promises of the Lord and they know how to claim the promises of God. And lastly, Caleb, he understood the importance of presentia sa Gino. Di kini madal pinali nas tong kagali puso. Kana problema kini atubang nimo karon di kini nimo mo conquer tungod nang kay bright ka. Di nimo na mo conquer tungod kay um kana wise ka or guapo ka or guapa ka. Di na madal ka guapo or kay guapa. Dagan kay mga artista dal ko kay problema. Right? Wa na daw sila pagka guapo or kay guapa ang ina problema. We need the presence of God. And we are a conqueror because we will understand the presence of God. This morning, <coughs> we will continue to look at being a conqueror. Now, let me read the initial verses. In Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 to 22. Nay, usa ka dato na batan ng galalaki, hinduol ng Jesus. He came to Jesus with a question. He was a teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? He knows si Jesus. Why ask me about what is good? There's only one who is good. But to answer your question, if you want to receive eternal life, keep your command, keep the commandments. Even ko ng mata ng lalaki, I've been religious all my life. Utan ng ko, nagasimba ng ko. I've kept the commandments. Asa manana ba ng commandments? Ingo si Jesus, you must not murder, you must not commit adultery, you must not steal, you must not testify falsely, honor your father and mother, love your neighbor as yourself. You see, kabalo si Jesus, kanino ka na religious, kabalo si Jesus, nakit niya niya mga commandments. Kabalo po si Jesus, kabisan pa, kaliwa at saya ang pagka-religious, ay tuwang sa sulod. That's why ninyo na magpatanong lalaki, I've obeyed all these commandments. What else must I do? And then, the clincher, uh, Matthew 19, 21, Jesus told him, if you want to be perfect, say with me, perfect. Perfect. 
is mature. How many of you here wants to be mature? Kaya na na naman si kulang. Something is missing. Jesus said, if you want to be perfect, are you really sure? You want to be mature? Gusto kang tumo sa mga relationship sa kino? Then do this one thing. Go sell all your possessions. Ihatag ang inyong kwarta sa kabus and you will have treasure in heaven. And then come, follow me. Wow. It blew his mind. And we know the story, this young rich man will not be followed by Jesus. Let me tell you something. A conqueror is a follower of Jesus. If you want to be a conqueror, you, you will be a follower of Jesus. A conqueror knows how to follow. Amen. Kabalong mong sunod. Jesus, leading a versikulo, He emphasized that the most important thing is following Him. Ang pinaka-importante ng butang sa ibang kalibutan is to follow Jesus. Ang anong mga butang sa ibang kalibutan is nothing in comparison to the joy of following Him. Dili ka kumparar ang nari sa kalibutan sa kalipay na makuha na ito sa diyang magsunod na kaniya. Jesus said so himself. He said, a mature disciple is a follower. Are you a follower? If you are a follower, you are a mature disciple. Ang, ang dato mismo nga nalaki, the rich man, he testified about his lack of joy, his lack of satisfaction, nagkulang siya sa uh, fulfillment, he said, Teacher, what else? What else must I do? Something is missing. Something is lacking. Something is absent. Something is kulang in my life. What else must I do? Let me tell you something. Life is always lacking something when we are not following someone. Problema sa lagang mga tao, we're always following something. Doon ay mga butang at ang gitimuha. O yan kung kinasunod-sunod, kanun ay. But we fail to follow someone. And that one person is ang ginoo mismo. We can never conquer the problems that we have if we are following the emotions na attached sa itong mga problema. Follow the one. And you will conquer your problems. A conqueror is a follower. Ingat na pa, be a follower. Be a follower. Here's a guy in Luke chapter 22 verse 33. He's a follower. He would say, Peter, Lord, I am ready to go to prison with you, even to die with you. Wow. <coughs> How many of you likes that statement by Peter? I will follow you. I will follow you. Are you that kind of a disciple? Are you that kind of a person na may kang ginoo mo, sunod ko sa'yo mga malisod man or masayon? Lord, I will follow you even if it means death. I want to honor you in death or in living. Death or alive, I want to honor you. Ingunana ba ka? Peter, ingunana yan kasi kasi. This is a statement of a follower. Peter is a follower. He knows how to follow Jesus all his life. Wa siya kuha na isda. Figuratively speaking, all his life he was empty. Pibok niya kinabuhi, kanunay lang kulang until he met Jesus. And Jesus filled the boat with fish. And sa dyan na puno ang bangka sa isda, nakita niya, Jesus completes me. Si Jesus lang ang makakompleto sa inyo. And so from that moment on, he's been following Jesus. He's been following Jesus. Amen. Are you following Jesus? Are you following Jesus? Kung di ka magsunod kay Jesus, your boat will continually be empty. Mapuno na usahay, pero daghang mga panahon, empty lang gihapon. Some generals, they will declare, Men, attack! I will follow you! Ah, grabe. Kung niya, pag inigliston na, Men, retreat! Follow me! Silanay ka muna. But a conqueror attacks. A conqueror attacks because their leader is ahead of them. Are you a conqueror? Are you a follower? Peter, he was a follower. Even when Jesus invited him to come to walk in water, he followed. Ang mga onsi, ni puro kanilang tuhod. He saw Jesus floating in the water. And Jesus announced to Peter, Come, walk on water. Siguro, wata ka ba but Jesus invited everyone. But only Peter took that step of faith. 
Una una sa ubay, maundod na ron, maundod na ron, maundod na ron! Pati floated. Pero sa diyan, maundod siya, dahil lagi, maundod lagi. They easily ridicule Jesus. But the good thing is, nilutaw siya for a moment. How many of you knows, na si Peter, nagkat mo sa, kung sa mga pagbog sa water, sila, wa, yun, katilaw, isa ito sa akin. Let's step out in faith. Amen. Let's follow Jesus because He's always leading the way. It was to Peter that Jesus said, Leave your boats. Leave everything. Follow me. And Peter followed. Ibiyaan niya yung panginapuyan because Jesus said, Follow me. It was to Peter that Jesus said, Total surrender. Total commitment. Total obedience. And Peter said, Yes. Mag-commit ko sa Gino 100%. Obey ko sa Gino 100%. I-surrender na akong kinabuhi 100%. You see, Peter, he was a follower. Because kailan siya kin sa iya ang isunod. It was to Peter. It was Peter who said, Lord, sa iya ang i-atras na ang kadaghanan. Lord, asa mang magpipalulong. You have the words of life. Wa naman may balikan. Kumubalik me. Maura ang Egypt. Kumubalik me. Maura ang hapon. Kinabuhi ang may kabilingkan. And so when the going gets tough, Peter knows how to follow Jesus. Padayang nagyapon siya. But so many Christians, so many believers, sa diyan nagkalisod na, they don't want to follow anymore. Muatras na sila. But not Peter. He's a follower. Are you like Peter? Are you a follower of Jesus? Peter knew how to follow Jesus even when the command is not convenient. Naging mga panahon, lisod na. Lisod ang pagpangalagad sa gino. Again and again, I say, hindi rin lang lisod. It's impossible kung ato nga lang kagali yung kusok. That's why Peter knew he tried so many times na nikamot siya ng musunod kay Jesus. Kalaghan ng mga panahon, napakya siya. Pero kipaparog siya ni Ginoong Jesus. Peter was simply a follower. He followed Jesus when the command is not convenient. He followed Jesus even when he did not understand. May mga panahon, hindi natasabot sa sugo. But yet, we are called to be followers. Amen. Sa dahil kisugo, si Gino, si Moses, bring the people of God, the Israelites, to cross over, to go to the promised land. He followed. At the beginning, siya nga, Lord, kakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
Jesus said, go and make disciples of all nations. But Lord, listen ka ayo, kay no ka kahit ini mga tawana, sirado kandado, kitayan pag yun ang kandado. 